Top 5 Hidden Secrets of the Bow that most people don't use or even know about, which is why they're secrets, but not anymore because I'm exposing them to the world. Number 5 Dragon Piercer I've got an entire video on this, so go check that one out after we're done here. In summary, Dragon Piercer does insane damage and is not just a niche attack. There are lots of ways to incorporate it into your gameplay, so don't let the haters tell you otherwise. Number 4 Free Coatings with Melee Melee attacks do not deplete your coatings and still apply the status effect. This includes dodgebolt attacks as well. So if you're trying to squeeze out a bit more para or sleep, go up and slap the monster around a bit. Number three, exhaust coating does KO damage. Probably the second least appreciated coating after close range coating, which by the way, I made an entire video about, exhaust coating will KO a monster. You do not need absolute power shot or slugger for this to work. You do have to hit the monster on the head, but since you're a bow user, you should be doing that anyway, for most monsters at least. Number two, Reload speed two. Reload speed? Who cares how fast I can load my... Wait, this isn't a gun. What are you talking about? Well, take a look at the skill description. Loads bow coating automatically. Yep, that's right. Just select your coating and it's automatically enabled. You don't even need to have your bow in hand and it's cheap as hell. Only two level one slots required. This skill is so useful that it's now in all my builds, even for the bows that only get two coatings. This opens up a whole new optimization strategy for your gameplay, specifically situationally switching between power coatings and close range coatings to squeeze every last drop of damage out of your power coats. And even if you aren't min-maxing and you're, frankly, just lazy, well, this is perfect for you too. Everybody wins with reload speed too. Finally, the biggest secret they don't want you to know about. Spread bow is awesome. Five arrows, high damage, and is the perfect shot type to take advantage of dodgebolt. Far from being unusable, spread bow is high paced, high damage, and lots of fun. Clear times are comparable with normal shot type, and you'd be surprised what you can get away with up close and personal with the monster. Often, the safest place to be is right underneath it. You'll get more part breaks, more staggers, because you're hitting a lot more than just the head, and you can save your power coats for when the monster is disabled so you can fire them point blank into his face. There it is, a top five list. Let me know in the comments what your secret is, unless, well, you wanna keep it a secret. If you guys come up with five more, I'll put them in a second video. Until then, check out my other stuff, hit the subscribe button, and tell your mom to subscribe too.